Hello and welcome to the CTM News Break, where we keep you up to date on what's happening right here in town. I'm Diane Sherrod Steimel. Along with the warm summer temperatures come fresh goods at the Chelmsford Farmers Market, which is underway for the season. Vendors at the market have been providing a mix of fresh produce as well as a variety of crafts since 2009. This is my company. This is Leela Rav Natural Body Care Products. Uh, we sell all natural body care products that come in recycled, recyclable, or compostable containers. We only use natural ingredients. I run Lowell Lettuce, which is an urban hydroponic farm uh, out of Lowell, as the name implies. Our specialty is uh, leafy greens, so salad mixes, lettuces, kales. I've got um, some baby chicks. They are about um, a month and a half old. We're selling them. Um, they're all girls. Um, I've got a hundred of them at my farm, so we decided to bring a few, and then if anyone's interested, that they'd come back to the farm and pick out which chicks they want. We are happy claws and paws, and me and my daughter, Amanda, who's not here yet, just started. So everything we made, uh, we started with our dogs. They love uh, treats and stuff, so I started making them from home, all from scratch, all natural, and then did with the family and stuff. So we started packaging and sending them out, and there's lots of fun, so everything is um, all natural, no sugar, no preservatives. And then we've extended to, uh, we make bandanas, go around the holidays. Um, and then we have variety packs of our treats, and then we have mats, and then we have cozy caves. Uh, we made some new little beds for the smaller dogs, so just loving them for cats and dogs. The Jonesford Farmer's Market is open on Thursdays from 2 to 6.30 through September the 28th, rain or shine. You can check their Facebook page each week to see which vendors will be at the market. In other news, Chelmsford High School Alumni Association wants to keep helping young people find their path. And in order to do that, Heather Lindstad said they need to make the organization financially sustainable. You can't just keep bringing unbelievable, remarkable people that endow scholarships and not have a way to hand them out properly, get things done, do the financial part of it without having a full-time executive director that can handle all of it and keep it growing. If you'd like to offer support, you can go to chsalumni.org. Chelmsford's efforts to go green has gotten a boost. The town has received a grant to advance green energy efforts. The award of almost $200,000 is for projects within the town's Green Communities Competitive Grant application. That money will go to building energy analytics software at the high school, LED lighting at the senior center, and improving efficiency at the senior center as well as at the police station. And finally, fun times in the children's room of the Chelmsford Public Library with the Hatch the Chicks program. Chickens in the library? Why not? Nicole Giraud, head of children's services, says watching the chicks hatch has been a great learning experience. We did it as obviously it's a very fun experience, but it's also educational. It teaches them about um, the journey from egg to chick and about, in general, animals hatching from eggs. So we've had a selection of books available at our various programs that we've done so that they can check that out and take it home. Um, and people have been asking a lot of questions about it. It's just generating a lot of interest. The Hatch the Chick program has proven to be very popular. The response has been wonderful. Um, even just the first day when the incubator was here, people were very excited to come and see the incubator, ask questions about it, and learn about how that works and how it mimics nature. And then today we had probably about 150 people um, between 10.30 and 12.30 come in for the experience of seeing the chicks. And we now have a live stream up, so people are participating at home as well, watching on their, their, um, and, and on their phones as well. We have people who are doing both. They're watching on their phone and then they're coming in. It's really nice. This little guy popped out just as we were watching. <laughs> Although super cute, the chicks won't be at the library for long. So we'll keep the chicks here for about two weeks from today, um, and then they're going to go back to a farm where they'll get to live out their lives. Thanks for watching this CTM News Break, brought to you by Chelmsford Telemedia. If you have news we can use, contact us at newsbreak at I'm Diane Sherrod-Stein.